Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Scandalous Damned battle. The Cardinal Sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, my gosh. The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind. Now, that's just the first. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom. First and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board. Killed the quarterback or actually playing some D. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Football. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs>
Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Bam, I just dash. On it. And the punter takes up defense, says enough of this BS, and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Hey. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and nine. Hey. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Hey. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and 10. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten full man about a six yard gain hey do me a favor if my parole officer calls i was with you last night bricks no problem i spent the night in lockup for solicitation and that'll be second down and four
should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. And this game is up for grabs. Second down in a lot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. He creates a sonic, and that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Away. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second and three. Hey. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Hot one. Hot two, hey. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra. It might have been a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's relief. One speed, Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a seat. He's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. 
And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Second down and long. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Ghost Second down and more than the QB would like. left in the half. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. One, hot two. quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. He's that guy so fast he can strike lightning twice. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. First down! The 
I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. timeout the clock just became their greatest enemy really the clock the clock rim i can smash a clock that's not a great enemy we're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon we're talking about the mfl you moron he caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone except maybe self-doubt but he seems to have worked through it <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. You've got to catch that. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Oh, it's going to settle now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And he reels that 
one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. Now that's fake news. It's been proven. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And they went to the air and came up big. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and six. And he runs it for four yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. He 
had it for a second there. Third down and 10. comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's going to have the iq of a rutabaga after that hit and it's first and ten running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. And the runner, including Tracy Bass. Look at the path you take in the field. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this damn scrim. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. You can't keep a good mutant. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Mr. Beat for Brain Man with a ball and didn't fall down. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explosive object. <laughs> 
Second down and long. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Hey, okay, no, man, I can't. Come on, I got to get on out, you know? And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second down and seven. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third down and six. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. That's four new downs and some big, big baboon ball. Graham, did you just say big, big baboon balls? Yes, I did. Nice. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. He was steering a pick six. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rap. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we are, Grim. Aren't we all? No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. First and ten. Oh, that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. Second down and nine. Covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. That ball first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And that'll be second and eight to go. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! 
What the hell was that? A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Third down and nine. I'm a house camel and shiver. I am a hell of a shiver. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. rainbow they let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense and the offense goes into their two-minute drill which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time that's why the girls call me speedy guns out the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick the quarterback can't dump it and now they're gonna dump his ass Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to extend? And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop. Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. Are you The defense looks hungry, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. The Cardinal Sins will go home losers today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...